Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I probably got a big smile on my face. Out at the range today with Heavy Metal. I showed you guys this thing in a sneak peek unboxing video the other day, but today is my first time at the range with my PSA AKP 47 or longer Palmetto State Armory AK 47 in a pistol version. This has a bunch of Magpul goodies. This is what they call the GF3 model. But if you're familiar with Palmetto, they are now known for having a bunch of awesome stuff at prices that pretty much beats everybody. So I got one of these GF3s. Like I said, it's full of a bunch of these Magpul goodies. One of the main reasons I picked this model is because I wanted the pick rail. So stay tuned. Next time you see this out, uh, we're going to have something on top of here. Most time people have a little red dot with a little magnifier or something. I think we should probably uh, put something with some extra zoomies on it and uh, take it out and see what we can do with it a little bit further. But today, first time at the range, we are going to... This is how it came, by the way, right out of the box with one mag um, with all this mag full stuff on it, just like you see it. But today, AK, you think steel case, that's what we brought out here today. I got some of this Tula ammo or Talamo, whatever you want to call it. 122 grain, that's a random number. 122 grain. Then we got some of the Wolf, and this is 123 grain. So, hey, first thoughts right out of the box, uh, like I showed you in the other video, I'm actually really surprised at the trigger that comes in this thing. Smooth. Uh, sometimes when you think AK, you think clunky or even chintzy. This is not clunky or chintzy, either one, uh, but still from Palmetto, a lot more affordable than you might think. But let's fill this thing up and just let it eat, banging some steel out here with iron sights, having some fun. First time at the range with this Palmetto State Armory GF3 AK pistol. Should be pretty cool. I'm excited. Let's fill it up. Give you another up close look at it here, just like it came out of the box. Here's a, a look at the sights that came on it, which I actually like. There's the rear and that front post sight. Hook all your doodads or whatever to this stuff, but hey, pretty cool. Like I said, I picked this one up because I wanted to try some different optics and this rail. Makes it real easy to mount optics. And again, this is the GF3, but this is what it came with, this one mag. Let's uh, see what happens. I got it loaded up with some of this Wolf 123 grain first. Now, out here on the steel range, those orange ones way up at the top, those are 55 yards. We do a lot of Pistola stuff up here. I'm going to not try to chink these close ones up, but up there, these orange ones are at 55 yards. Let's see how I can do with those irons. FOB, fresh out of the box with this Palmetto GF3. Should be pretty cool. I think we can hit something. I got the axle ear muffs on today because I forgot my ear plugs. Every time everybody's asking me about my hearing protection, you gotta wear your hearing protection. They give us discounts, links down below. I think right now they're doing 35% off. Sometimes they give us 50% off. But just got to catch those axle deals when they got them. But let's hook that front of that mag there. In a minute since I ran an AK. And I'm going to go right to that orange silhouette at 55 yards. Let's uh, see if I can get it with these irons. I'm pretty sure these irons are probably pretty close. I think if you got an AK, it's cooler if you rack it from underneath, huh? Well, you got to get it off the safety first, don't you? Now let's see if we can get that uh, orange steel out there at 55. We ought to be able to, I believe, even with the irons. A little high. Well, maybe I'll put it on some paper here real quick. like it's going a little bit left too. Hmm. Well, 
Yeah. I want to go too high, huh? There we go. So to hit that in the middle, I had to aim below it and to the right. And we did hit the left side. So let's try again with a similar hold there. Be easier once we get an optic on it, won't it? There we got it. Well, I kind of got the hold. I pretty much held the bottom right corner that time. slapping it now but right out of the box I'm having to hold about hmm, that much low and about that much right to hit it in the center line so what kind of adjustments we got on here hmm do we have right to left adjustment doesn't look like we do have right to left adjustment maybe I do and I just don't know what I'm talking about but hmm what did that do no, lock that back down. Now we do have up and down adjustment over here though. But to tell you the truth, well now I got this little thing messed up. Hold on. Let's keep on running out here 55 yards. got the hole we're spinning it let's go to a little bit smaller gong at the same distance all right so my for some reason my target camera shut off hopefully we didn't miss any of that footage on the previous target but let's uh let's finish out this mag on a smaller target should be fine now that i know the hole we ought to be able to hit it at least once come on man we got the cameras rolling we're supposed to know what you're doing here but let's go for an even smaller one this is like an eight inch gong at 55 here the chain once definitely hit the chain once that bigger one was easier to get hmm. all right now we wouldn't be doing this video justice the fresh out of the box will it run video we wouldn't be doing this video justice if we didn't just give it a rip as fast and as hard as we can so let's do that right now we're just gonna let it rip fast as we can like I said I really like the trigger in this thing but Oh yeah, we uh, we had that hill a smoking man. No problems so far, but I tell you what though, that baby is loud. We might have caught some fireballs there. Whoo, and it's hot. We might have caught some fireballs there back here in the shade. But hey, right out of the box function test. PSA, the Palmetto State GF3. It is a ripper. And it runs good so far. But, like I said, we're going to be doing some more with this. I'm going to slap some optics on this tonight, and then we'll be back checking it out even more. It'd be even cooler if I could get an adapter. We could run this thing with the can on. That'd be pretty sweet, too. But, hey, AKP, the GF3 from Palmetto pretty pretty sweet I know several of you guys if you have them and you love them the main thing that really impresses me is that trigger that they got in these I would not expect that trigger to be that good but hey appreciate y'all watching make sure you're subscribed we'll see you on the next one mm -hmm. okay.